Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Today, I wanted to return back to my analog desk, which I sit at every day, as you well know by now. And I wanted to talk today about digesting information, reading information, and assimilating information. Um, in the past, I was definitely guilty of reading stuff on my screen, digital screen, on my, on my uh, laptop, on my uh, PC, on monitor. Articles, periodicals, journals, um, technical articles, I would just try and read through on my computer like probably most people do these days, or even on my phone. Um, what I've started doing over the past, I think, 12 months or so, is almost <laughs> going back in time, going to the analogue word, I've been printing stuff off. So I collect articles, I usually put them in a folder or on my email, I have them, certain ones I know coming through are kind of newsletters, I'll have filters that go into a newsletter folder so I don't even see them in my inbox. Um, and I get them and I batch them into 50 or whatever at a time um, over the course of every few days, um, sometimes daily, and I print them out. And here, I mean, this is today's <laughs> reading, so I've got them all printed here. And I'm going to go through all of these now and read them all in hard paper format. And it's back to the thing I was done with handwriting. There is some sort of quality, some sort of experience. It's so different when you actually read off real paper. You have a tactile paper that you can pick up, you can read. And hey, guess what? You can actually write on it in the margins, underline things, circle things. And I can then grab my index cards and make cards for them. and again the Zettel casting system over here as necessary. But as I say, there's just something about being able to physically go through paper and read it and digest it, which you just don't get with um, looking on digital stuff, like using digital screens. So I found it to be incredibly valuable and a great experience in terms of, uh, say, being able to in, ingest the information and make better notes. So I strongly recommend it. And you think about it, when you look around at, um, you know, prime ministers and uh, even royalty, they have their box that comes every day, the red box, or whatever it is, I think royalty, and they have their papers and they write, um, they review in paper, they write in paper. You don't see kings and queens with laptops in front of them. Uh, certainly not in the UK anyway, um, there's something kind of <laughs> almost noble about being able to use paper these days, which is so odd because beginning of my career it was all paper. Uh, and that wasn't that long ago, I'm not quite that old, although I'm getting that way. Um, but being able to sort of go through paper is just a whole different experience. So that's my kind of recommendation, just try it, print them out, the articles, don't read them, look at the interesting ones, print them out, and then sit down and actually go through them properly with a pen and paper. And I know there's a kind of an ecological thing to this side of our ecosystem in terms of, um, you know, printing paper is not good, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Second I've read them, I get what I need off them, I put them on notes cards, and then I shred them. I've got a shredded out, just out of a shot here that I use. And then that shredded paper gets put into uh, a pile that I take home, and I then put it into my compost, and it makes the most beautiful soil for the veg patch. So nothing goes to waste. Um, I strongly recommend you stick with paper for this sort of purpose as well as for journaling, etc. So, as I say, this is what I'm going to get through now. Um, sat down now, I've got about uh, what we've got a couple of hours now to get through this. See how far I get. I might not get through all of it quite, but some really good, interesting articles here to go through. And I'm. Uh, Looking forward to digesting it. And um, yeah, that's my uh, suggestion for you all. Back to paper wherever possible. Thanks for watching.